Good Hello. evening. Hello. It is Wednesday. October 26, 2016. It's National Pumpkin Day. National Horseless Carriage Day. National Mule Day. National Mule Day. And oh. National Howl at the Moon Night. Oh! Oh, it's not night yet, is it? Not technically. And, it, and the moon won't be up till... Well, we don't have any birthdays today, so that's why we had that trivia knowledge for yes, you before silly. we before we were uh, entertained with the uh, sound effects. Yes, and it's it's a bit getting a bit chilly in the evenings. It's cold. I'm having to wear my jacket. Jaqueta. My jaqueta for Spanish. Actually, I asked my uh, some of my uh, Spanish friends, Latin Latino friends, and they'd never heard of the word jaqueta. They, I mean, they didn't think that was, that yeah. wasn't what they used. That well, wasn't the word they used. But they anyway. probably used some type of uh, Spanish slang then. I don't know. That's just uh, what it was. But I like the word Jacaita. I like it too. So we'll use that. Yes. So, um, this is, this is a, just a very busy season and poor Dennis here. He's having to put up with my ups and my downs with my work life. <sighs> People blending running. over into my home life. Well, that wouldn't be so bad had the wash machine not kicked over yesterday. Yes. So I am washer machine. I am washing machine less. I don't have a washing machine. Washing machine. Yeah. And I can't do a turn of clothes. So. Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll get one soon. We just gotta make the arrangements to get the best deal and get it delivered and all that good stuff. Yeah. Somebody doesn't know that somebody's going to be buying one online anyway. Ooh. And... Turn on your lights. Um, tomorrow morning, <gasps> I'm going to go get an MRI on my guts. An MRI. An MRI on my guts. Do you know what guts. that stands for? Uh, magnetic resonance imaging. Yeah, I used to work in radiology years ago, so I. You learned. know what it stands? I think it stands for very, very expensive uh, X-ray. Well, the good thing about MRI is it does not emit radiation like the CT scans and other types of X-ray imaging. So that is very good. Yeah, but it's magnetic. It's magnetic, so it means um, you can't, Ooh, railroad tracks! can't have a lot of uh, metal. Um, it's, you shouldn't have any metal on you. Right. That's what I'm saying. You don't, don't wear a belt. You'll go, choom. Jewelry. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so I get to drive him because he takes a pill to uh, relax him. Because I, I think 99% of the people have claustrophobia issues with, with that MRI. tube. Yes. Because it is very, very, very um, constrictive. And... Watch out. I've had an MRI before, but it was only on my head, and so I only had to go in part way. And, and you know what they found? It, it was had, nothing. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't find anything. It was blank. Yeah. So, <laughs> again, they had, I had a blindfold, and I had headphones on my, you know, so it, I don't think they blindfold you, do they? I think that, no, they did. They, I oh, remember, my. I remember distinctly it's, that it's to help not, um... I don't. I don't mean blindfold. You know the little mask thing that they put over your. Well, I don't know why with the this um, new technology of um, what's that thing that you put these phones in and those goggles you wear. What's that called? That new virtual reality. Well, essentially, but I forget what it's called. Some millennial knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, virtual reality, I guess. Why they can't do that to you, and they could play like vacation spots or something like that while you're in there and I think that would be relaxing. Well, there's probably metal with that special goggle somewhere they can't do that. Oh well that's true. But they could they could three D print one or something. I don't know. They they just ways around things like that. I guess so they'll figure it out. So we're on our way to get our lottery ticket and to get some some grub from Chick-fil-A. 
through the drive through Chicken filet. And to bring it home and enjoy it in the comfort of our home. So, just another exciting evening out for Dennis and Chris. <laughs> Um, with no birthday shout out. Yes, I had a rough day today. I had to I had to babysit the parents. Yes. And go with and there'll them. be many more days of that. No, I, I love my parents to death, but it it's like working three or four hours to go somewhere with them. Yeah. <laughs> but tomorrow they're going to the mountains. Oh really? Yeah, with my aunt and uncle. Mm. So that's gonna be that's going to be interesting. Yep, but I'll be home after my MRI working, so... Oh, that's right. Just you're going to be home. Okay, so yeah, tomorrow's so, going to be an interesting day. So you won't be at home all by yourself on the, on, on the farm, on the estate, on the plantation. Not the estate. It's called the compound. The compound. Yes. I knew it was one of those property-type words. We have new light. Shop stoplights here, you know, see? Uh, ah. I made it. Oh, and here we are at our favorite um, convenience store. Little convenience store to get our lottery ticket. Yep. All right. Well, I think we'll call that one a wrap. We'll wrap that up. Wrap it up for the day. And um, we will have some birthday shout outs for tomorrow. And um, oh my God, what is going on? We look on? forward to uh, sharing those with y'all. Sharing and then with you. Well, everybody parked on one side of the... I know this parking lot's going to, like, tip over. Yeah. It's like Tippo, Tip O'Neill. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're in there. Yep. We all have a good evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Take care. Good night. Say it. Bye. Say bye last. Bye last.